Hey guys, Vix Media Girl here. So we're back today with another video with my new resin. In case you missed the first video, I will link it in the description. Today we are going to be painting a beach. So I'm going to use this uh, unprimed board from Blix. And I want this natural wood color to show through as my sand. Because I think it's a pretty nice sand. So I'm just going to throw some of the clear resin down here and that's going to just kind of be my sand section here. Now keep in mind, I will be putting a clear coat over the whole thing, you know, just a final top coat once this is all dry. So this is just the first layer. I may even do multiple layers of waves depending on how I feel, but this just, just first layer here. Got these little, uh, you know, the painters, pyramids. Move those around. Okay. And this is, I think, a 10 inch by 10 inch board. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with dark over here. This is my Alumalite dye. And this color is ocean blue. So it does look pretty dark, but I'm going to be spreading it out. And then I have this, which is ocean blue mixed with blue green mica powder. So it gives it this like gorgeous depth with that metallic. And I'm going to go ahead and spread these guys out. And then I have a little bit here, which is the same mixture with just a bit more of that mica powder in there. And these metallics will just add quite the depth. Okay, good. Um, last thing kind of color wise that I'm going to use is this is from Artist Till Death. It's called Midnight Mermaid. And it's just kind of this amazing glitter, basically, that I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle throughout here. I think this is going to be a beautiful beach. Okay, now we're going to go in with the white. The white is also a Lumalite dye. So I'm going to go ahead and just go put kind of a nice wide amount across here. And then I'll go ahead and add another little line here, a little bit thinner. There we go. All right, now it's time for the heat gun. Okay, long story short, this epoxy is perfect for beaches. Like, I have never gotten that kind of frothy foaminess like that before. That is just utterly amazing. So, I will still have to touch up the sides. I actually have some more resin here. I'm just going to go ahead and touch up the sides. But remember, another clear coat will be going over all of this. So I'm not really worried about the sides. And if some of them didn't actually get resin on them completely, especially at that end where the sand is, but that's okay. It's going to look awesome. It already looks awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy with these waves. Okay, beautiful. So at least this side's covered with the watercolors. And then we'll get the clear resin over the other side. I'm gonna bring you in for the close up. Right, check out this incredible frothiness. 
That is just so awesome. You can see some of the glitter in there. And there was a bit of a chunk of glitter over there. But just, man, could not have asked for a better beach here. So, so much fun. I will probably not actually put another layer on this. I'm so happy with this. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. But perfect resin for beaches. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know I'm sure some of you like making beaches just as much as I do. So hopefully you're just as excited as I am. Check down in the description for links to purchase this resin and all the materials used here, and I'll see you all next time.